Mumba soap ensures a good chemical cleaning of the cases by removing both oxidation as well as the carbon residue inside the cases. The Mumba soap can be used in a plastic container to wash the cases by hand. It can also be used in an ultrasonic appliance or a rotary tumbler. It is important not to leave the Mumba soap in the ultrasonic appliance for lengthy periods of time because it can cause damage due to galvanization. Only keep the soap in the tank while cleaning the cases. Drain the water and soap immediately after use. Rinse the tank thoroughly and dry. Store the appliance in a dry place. Mix one part Mumba with four parts water, i.e. 20% Mumba and 80% water. Use enough of this mix to completely immerse the cases and soak it for 20 to 30 minutes. Remove the dirt on the outside by rubbing with your fingers a suitable soft cloth or sponge and brush the cases properly on the inside. Rinse the cases in separate clean or running water. It is important to rinse the cases thoroughly to remove the soap and stop the chemical cleaning process. It is convenient to blow dry the cases with compressed air. Leave the cases out for a day or so to ensure that they are completely dry before continuing with the reloading process. Casing brass is a mixture of 70% copper and 30% zinc. When the oxidation is removed, some of the cases might appear red due to the copper. This is not a problem unless visible pit markings can be seen. Cases with pitting or other surface damage or defects should not be reloaded. The used cleaning medium can be left until the dirt sinks to the bottom. The cleaning medium can then be poured off carefully until just the dirt residue remains. The dirty soap can also be filtered if you wish. This should enable you to use one mixture more than once and for more than 100 cases. Oxidation forms a thin protective layer on the cases which limits further oxidation or tarnish. That is why clean cases will quickly tarnish again. If tap water was used, the amount of minerals and chemicals like chlorine, fluoride and even iron in the water might tarnish the cases after a while. This is neither dangerous nor detrimental, but if it bothers you, the cases can be cleaned with polish not containing ammonia. Ammonia will make the cases brittle as it attacks the copper part of the brass. To limit tarnishing, the best is to use distilled water. Please note that visible discoloration due to heating is not easily detected on dirty cases. We will see just now how easy it is to see on clean and new cases. On cases cleaned with mumba soap, the spread of discoloration on the case is clearly seen. When the discoloration passes the shoulder, the tempilac starts to melt. The discoloration is thus an additional indication that the process is completed and can be used as an aid to the timing of the annealing process.